Hey everybody, it's Dan from Commit here. Today we're going to talk about um, how to set up a meet and commit and do meet entries. So adding a new meet is pretty simple. You click add new meet, upload your events file, and then you're going to have a meet information step and a review step. We're going to jump right into um, a meet that has some entries ongoing so I can show you everything that's going on. The way that Stepper works, so after you upload your uh, events file, this is basically the page that you see, and then you just say confirm go. So the, on this settings page, uh, this will also, again, be visible when you first set up the meet. You're going to specify the meet name, which will be auto-imported from the file, but you can change it because sometimes they're cut off and stuff like that. Add any notes that will be visible to the parents, to yourself, um, just as reminders. Usually it's like notes to the parents uh, for registering their kids if, if you allow them to register. Um, and then you can assign any tags to this meet. So this is just an easy way to filter and sort meets once you start getting a decent chunk of them. So you can easily find what you need um, in the meets list. Now registration for permissions, you can either set it such that only the coaches can register um, kids for events, or you can say that the parents are allowed to. If the parents are allowed to, there's a window that you have to specify, which is when they can start entering and stop. So this is the registration deadline if only coaches you won't even have that because it's just open and you you know what you're doing. Um, the one thing to note here is that no matter which one of these is checked, parents always have the ability to commit a swimmer to a meet. So there's like two steps. There's swimmers that are available that make the um, time cutoffs that are available for the meet. Then there's committed swimmers and then there's entered swimmers. Parents can always go from that like available step to the committed step, um, but then they just can't register them into events if it's a coaches only registration. Um, this is so by default when you run through that um, create a meet process the invited swimmers will be everyone on your team um, this was an option we put in here so that it made it simple for you to specify like if you had a, a an elite level meet where you knew only 10 swimmers on your club were even qualified to go um, you can make it simple that it won't even show up in the other parents um, dashboards and that's that's to make it easier on the parents so that there's no confusion over registering for meets that their kids aren't going to, and you can easily kind of specify. This helps a lot with both small clubs and big clubs. Uh, we found it uh, to be one of the most requested features early on um, in the commit team suite. Um, you can also attach any documents, any meet information packets, all that kind of stuff, fun stuff that'll be visible to the parents and yourself um, right here. And now there's a couple different um, tabs here. So you see information, this is the general meet information. Um, you can adjust the billing. So this will be auto imported from the events file as well for the individual events, athlete surcharge, relay events, et cetera. Um, but you can change that directly right here. Um, and that, that is what your parents will be billed on the billing section. Now for registration, it's pretty simple. There's three tabs, events, swimmers, and relays. Um, so if we go to events here, you can search for any event. Let's search for the 200 back. And you can see, um, these are just open events, so there's a 200 back uh, men's and women's. If we click here on men's, it's going to auto-select the men's 200 back. And you're going to see swimmers who are entered, swimmers who are committed but not entered into this event, and then all available swimmers. Um, there are, you can obviously just go through and click. And then to commit a swimmer that's available, you just select commit swimmer to meet. And then to add the swimmer to event, you, say, you select enter swimmer. Um, and they'll just move up in these columns, these three different sections right here. Now on the swimmer side, it's the same thing in reverse. So this is more the swimmer view and that you can filter by all committed and not committed. Um, so if we go to, and these will only show the invited swimmers. So by default, again, it'll be every member of your team. If you invite only specific swimmers, like in this meet, I think there's nine or, or there seems to be 11 uh, swimmers invited. You can go back and forth between who's committed and who's not and see what events they're registered for. If you click on them, You'll see their entries over here and the other available entries that they have. Now, not committed swimmers, every time you click on the swimmer, the first step you have to do is commit the swimmer. On the relay side, um, similar thing. You can set your set your relays, add a relay team. Whoops. And then when you go to edit the relay, you'll see all the available swimmers. You can select who's going on the team and what their seat time is. And then the last thing is meet billing, but we're gonna do a separate video on that. But that's basically what 
you do to sign, set up a meet and, and register your swimmers.